Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kirdu over here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and blowing the Type 99A. The Type 99A MBT or ZTZ-99 is a Chinese third generation main battle tank. The vehicle was a replacement for the aging Type 88 introduced in the late 1980s. The Type 99 MBT was China's first mass produced third generation main battle tank combining module composite armor and tandem charge defeating ERA. 125mm smoothbore gun with ATGM capability, high mobility, digital systems, and optics. The Type 99 represents a shift toward rapid modernization by the PLA. The tank entered the People Liberation's Army PLA service in 2001. The PLA uh, force is the sole operator of the Type 99. Three main versions of the Type 99 have been deployed, the Type 898 prototype, Type 99, and the Type 99A. The Type 99's deployment has been lessened due to its high cost, with the Type 96 tank seen service as a primary main battle tank of the PLA. So yeah, a really interesting tank, and our first main battle tank, I would say, really for uh, the Chinese, which is really cool. We don't really see too many Chinese vehicles on the channel, so it's fun to uh, do one after it being such a long time since uh, doing one of these. Uh, but yeah, really nice looking tank. It's basically the pinnacle tank. Um, really in the Chinese uh, army currently and uh, overall is a really nice looking design uh, overall for the build. Uh, before we go and take a look at it, I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page, link is down in the description where you can go and put a small amount to the channel and any of you a request of your choosing. Um, yeah, overall really cool stuff and uh, let's go and dive into this tank. So starting off with, we have obviously the main gun here, as I mentioned, 125mm smoothbore gun which also does have the capability to fire ATGMs. Uh, we have the front sloped armor, it does have the ERA armor on it, uh, so the upgrade armor package which most main battle tanks are kind of going with. Um, we have uh, basically the hole here and all that. Uh, we do have the white wheels on here, it kind of is a parade uh, design for the Type 99As, kind of typical with some Chinese and Russian vehicles, so they'd like to go ahead and put uh, white wheels on it and I do think that they look really cool so I decided to go ahead and include it but if you don't want it you can obviously just use um, green in its place or dark oak wood uh, to make those wheels. Uh, for the turret itself nothing too fancy we have a uh, mounted heavy machine gun up on top here of the roof and basically all the optics and all that stuff for the crew, smoke grenade dispensers and basically just the uh, side armor and all that stuff. The Type 99A does have a little bit of extra armor added, especially around the rear section here of the tank. All the vents here, external fuel uh, tanks, and all that stuff. So overall, really nice looking build, and again, it's going to be an awesome addition to any of your uh, modern conflicts where you're trying to build, put some uh, Chinese into the um, scenario. Overall, really nice looking tank. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layers. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting with layers 0 and 1. For these layers, to go ahead and get started for us, we're going to take our nether brick slabs, we're going to place down a row of two nether brick slabs, followed by two nether brick top slabs, Can off those slabs in the direction we want facing toward the front of the tank, so this direction here. From this, we're going to go ahead and take our smooth cord, we're going to place down a smooth cord block, and then a white choker box on its side, like this to the side. Now one thing I want to mention here, is I, what I did mention earlier, is that if you do want to build this tank with a different color wheel set, you are completely able to do so. You can use green terracotta, a green choker box, and then for our stairs here you can use dark oak wood. Uh, these are wheels here are mainly used for like parade and stuff like that, but I just think it looks really nice on the tank, so that's why I'm including it. Anyways, uh, to go ahead and continue on, we're going to place a dark oak wood button on the end here of this, or on the top here of this block, and we want to go and then grab our item frames. We're going to place an item frame on the side with a green terracotta block in the item frame. After that, we're going to place down two quartz stairs like so, and then another two quartz stairs coming off those two. From that, we're going to then place down two narrow brick blocks in the ground, and then two dark oak with top slabs. We're going to then place down a smooth quartz block, white choker box coming off the side here, dark oak with button, item frame, and a green terracotta block in the item frame. We want to go and then repeat the same thing again or that we did before here, so our two narrow brick blocks in the ground, and then two dark oak with top slabs, and again our smooth quartz. Shorter box on the side, dark oak button, item frame, 
and a green concrete block. We're going to go ahead and place down a narrow row of two of dark oak and top slabs, two narrow brick blocks here in the ground, a smooth quartz block, shulker box on the side, dark oak with button, item frame, and then a green terracotta block in the item frame like that. We then want to place down two smooth quartz stairs like this, two smooth quartz stairs like that, and then one and two narrow brick slabs, and then two narrow brick top slabs like that, come off those two slabs. After that's all complete there, we want to go and then go to the uh, row of quartz here. We're going to place down one, two, and three dark oak with top slabs across, and then we want to go and then go to this narrow brick slab here and place down three dark oak with top slabs across from that narrow brick slab. We then want to fill in the space in between these dark oak with slabs here with or, yeah, in between the dark oak and slabs here, we're just rows of dark oak. We had to go and create a nice solid basis here for the tank, like that. From this point here, we're going to then place down two narrow brick slabs, followed by two narrow brick top slabs, turn off those two slabs forward, and we're going to basically repeat the same design we did over on the inner side, just over to this side for the tracks. I'm going to go and do this a little bit quicker, as I've already kind of explained in detail how to do it, and if you need to, if I go too fast, you can just go and refer to the other side, as uh, the other side is exactly the same as what we're doing over here to this side the tracks and all of our dark oak buttons item frames and some smooth quartz blocks in our item frames like this all the way down we then want to go ahead and place down our narrow brick blocks here in the middle between these blocks and then just our dark oak top subs in the spaces like so and once we have that all complete there the last thing for us to do here is to go to the back and for the back here we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate opened up toward the dark oak top subs on both sides middle block here fence gate and we want to go and then place down a zombie head coming off the fence gate like that. And after that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number zero 01. Here's what it looks like from up above. And with that, uh, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number two. I guess we move on to our next layer, we'll be moving on to layer number two. For layer two to start off with, we're going to go ahead and place down two narrow brick stairs on top of these two narrow brick top slabs. From that, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak sign on the side of the stair same thing over here as well and then come off the faces here of these stairs we're going to place down two dark oak trap doors like that come off the front of the stairs from that we're going to place that zombie head here on the insides here of these narrow brick stairs and we're going to then take our green terracotta we're going to place down a green terracotta block behind the stairs here there in the insides and then a dark oak top slab to the sides on the sides of the dark oak top slabs we're going to place down an item frame with a cobweb in the item frame and same thing over here as well like that from that, we're going to then take our prismarine slabs, we're going to place down one, two, and three prismarine slabs across here, and then eight item frame on the two slabs to the sides, and snowballs in those item frames like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down another row of three of prismarine full blocks across this base here, and then a green concrete block to both sides, followed by a dark oak up down stair with a dark oak sign on the side of the stair, like so. Same thing over here as well, like that. Once that's done, we're going to then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 green terracotta blocks back, and same thing over here on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We then want to go ahead and fill in the whole space here in the middle. If you do want to do an interior for the tank, uh, you guys can leave that for the end and kind of haul out the inside for the tank for yourself, but for the tutorial, we'll be going to fill in each layer completely, closing it off. But um, again, if you do want to do an interior, uh, you are able to do that. So uh, after we have that filled in with our green uh, terracotta here, we're going to go and then place down a dark oak with upside down stair here to both sides and a row of three of green terracotta or row of five green terracotta across. I accidentally used concrete here so this will be green uh, terracotta in its place so just make note of that. Um, my bad on that one. So uh, grab the wrong block. That's all I can really say. So we're going to be using green terracotta for this whole thing and um you know ignore the, the green concrete anyways uh once we get that done we're going to place down a row of five of green terracotta across followed by a what's going to be a green sugar box on both ends turn off the green sugar box we're going to place down a dark liquid button followed by an item frame and then in that item frame we're going to place down a cobweb just like that and same thing over here dark liquid button item frame, and cobweb. We then want to place down a row of two of narrow brick stairs across the back here, and we're going to place down dark oak wood trap doors to come off these narrow brick stairs like so. In the space in between these stairs, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of green terracotta across, followed by again, chip our hooks to come off those green terracotta blocks like that. 
And lastly, we're going to go to the sides. We're going to place down a dark oak sign on the sides here of these two stairs. And we're going to then take item frames and place down a row of item, or not item frames, sorry, trap doors along the side here of these green terracotta blocks. You want to make sure that they're all closed. And same thing over here. Just like that. And I also put smooth quartz blocks in these item frames and these should be green terracotta. So again, make sure that like that. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have here for layer two. And with that, let's go and move on to our next layer, layer number three. I guess moving on to our next layer, we move on to layer number three. For layer three, we're going to go to start off by taking our green carpet and place it down on top of these two narrow big stairs like so. We do want to place down a row two of dark oak trapdoors going back from those. And then when we get to this section here, we're going to place down a redstone comparator to both sides like that. And then a dark oak trapdoor on the insides. From this, we're going to take our daylight detectors. We're going to place on a row of one, two, and three across. And then one, two, and three. If you do have your dark oak trapdoors open, make sure you do close them back up. We're going to then place down a spruce wood slab here in the middle, a dark oak sign on the side of the spruce wood slab, and we're going to go and grab ourselves an item frame and a black bed. We're going to place down an item frame and then a black bed rotated on the side like that in the item frame like that for the driver's viewport. Continuing on, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair that goes back from the slab, and then we're going to place down a slab to both sides of the stair like so. And then from this, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector or two daylight detectors out to the sides like that. We then want to place down a row of three green terracotta across behind the stair, followed by a dark oak wood stair to both sides, and then a dark oak slab to off the side of the stair. We're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of five across, followed by a second row of five, and on both ends here, we're going to place down two dark oak wood slabs going back. We're going to place down a row of three here of green terracotta across the middle, dark oak wood stair again to both sides, followed by a dark oak wood slab coming off the face there of the stair. Uh, once that's done, we're going to then place down one and two dark oak wood slabs here, one and two, and then three dark oak wood stairs across the middle. And we're going to then take green terracotta and place down a row of seven of green terracotta all the way across. On both ends of this row of seven, we're going to place down a dark oak wood button, and then we're going to place down a second row of seven of green terracotta across. On both ends of this row, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign, item frame, and a black bed rotating on side like that in the item frame, and same thing over here as well, like so. We then want to go ahead and take our looms. We're going to place down one, two, three looms in the middle here. And then we're going to place down another row of three, like this. So try to, try to position them so that they are kind of facing each other like so. So that this bottom here is toward the outsides and you kind of have a more kind of consistent looking uh, graded design, even though it's a little off. Um, but yeah. And then on the sides here, just two green terracotta blocks come off each one of these rows of three of short, or, uh, looms out to the sides there. And then across the back, uh, we're going to place down a row of three of black concrete across, and then we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of ladders to off those three black concrete blocks. We're going to take green terracotta, we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks out to the sides, a dark oak wood sign on this first green terracotta block to both sides, followed by a dark oak wood sign on both sides here. We're going to go ahead and grab an item frame and a red stained glass block. We're going to place down an item frame here and a red stained glass block in that iron frame like that for the tail lights. And after that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number three. And with that, let's move into layer number four. All right, let's move on to our next layer. We'll be moving on to layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak grid stair. That is going to go and go on top of this corner here. And then coming off that stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Dark oak wood slabs forward. On the tip here, we're going to place down an iron frame a dark oak wood sign, and then in that item frame we're going to place down a black concrete block. And along this row of dark oak wood slabs, we're going to go ahead and place down dark oak wood signs all the way along the side here, like so. And this is going to be on both sides of the barrel. So just like this, all the way down. And just like that. And once we have that done, that's going to wrap up our barrel there. So from this point, we're going to then place down a prismarine slab, or the dark prismarine slab to both sides of this dark oak wood stair, and then we're going to place down a prismarine full block behind it, followed by a green terracotta block in the middle. To both sides of this prismarine full block, we're going to place down a prismarine dark oak, or a prismarine stair, and then we want to go and then place down a prismarine full block going back from each of these prismarine stairs. And then in the middle space here, we can place down a row of three green terracotta. 
To the sides here of these blocks, we're going to place that item frame with a red stained glass pane in the item frame. And we want to go and then place down a row of five of green terracotta going across. We're going to go ahead and grab a narrow brick stair. We're going to place a narrow brick upside down stair on both sides. And then coming off the back here of the stair, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull going forward like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down another row three of green terracotta going all the way across here, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. We're going to place down another row of five of green terracotta across. This time on both sides, we're going to place down a diorite wall. We're going to place down another row of five across, and then again a diorite wall to both sides. Then after that, we're going to take our mossy cobblestone walls and we're going to place down a row of seven of mossy cobblestone walls all the way across. On the middle five, Monster Cobblestone Walls, we're going to place down five item frames, and in each one of those item frames, we're going to place down iron bars all the way across the back there. We want to go and then take our dark oak wood buttons, we're going to place down one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then our spruce pressure, or spruce pressure plates, one, two, one, two, and the middle space here, green carpet, one, two, three. We then want to grab our green shulker boxes, we're going to place down one and two shulker boxes like so. And over here, same thing. We have uh, one and two. We're then going to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to place down an item frame. Green terracotta block in the item frame. Actually, my bad. This is supposed to be positioned over one. So they should be positioned like so. And same thing over here, like that. So you want to have a space of one in between these and then a space of one on both sides here. And we just want to go ahead and place down item frames here on the sides. And we're going to place down green terracotta blocks in those item frames, just like this. And uh, also on the sugar boxes here to the sides, we're going to place down a dark liquid button. And then we're not going to do the middle space here because obviously we can't put two dark liquid buttons in the same block space. So once we have that done, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for layer 4. With that, we're going to move into our final layers here, which are going to consist of layers 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And uh, we'll move into our final layers to complete the build. Alright guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers 5 through 9. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on top of this green terracotta block. And we want to go ahead and then place down a zombie head on top of the stair. From that, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector that goes back from the slab or from the trapdoor and make sure that the trapdoor does stay closed. We then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall over here to the right side, followed by a dark liquid sign coming off the side of the mossy cobblestone wall, an item frame, and then in the item frame, we're going to place down a black bed, like so. We then want to grab ourselves a carpet, we're going to place down a green carpet over on this side, and then one and two to the other side. After that, uh, we're going to place down a dark liquid stair that goes back from this mossy cobblestone wall, and we want to go and then place down a spruce wood plank directly behind the stair. Then to the remaining three sides of this spruce wood plank, we're going to place down dark oak wood stairs around like so, and we're also going to place down a daylight detector in this corner right up here. Uh, over to the sides here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab here, followed by a green terracotta block in that green ter or on the side here, the green terracotta block to the front, we're going to place down an item frame in a black bed in the item frame rotated around sideways for an optics box. A daylight detector coming off of it to the side. Going back from the green terracotta block, we're going to place a spruce wood slab, dark oak wood slab, and then we want to go and then um, go to our sides here. On top of these narrow brick stairs, we're going to place down two red stone repeaters, like this here, to the sides. And make sure they don't turn on, so you want something like that. After that, uh, we want to go and then take our dark oak wood slabs, we're going to place down one, two here. And we're going to go then take dark oak fence posts, we're going to place down one and two dark oak fence posts there in the corners. Followed by a mossy cobblestone wall over here to the left side on this direct wall. Then up for the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a green terracotta block, an item frame, dark oak sign, and then a black bed in the item frame, like that. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves end rods and also some iron bars. We're going to place an end rod on top of these two dark oak fence posts and then one, two, and three iron bars up like this for the radio antennas. Then uh, at this point here, over here on the uh, right side, we're going to place down a stroker box here and then a stroker box on top of that mossy cobblestone wall. And we want to go ahead and place down some uh, item frames on these two sides here of these blocks. So, for some reason, that's not 
working, but I worked over here. Okay, so uh, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the space underneath these shorter boxes and replace this row with a row of upside down stairs. So that's going to be a row of dark oak with upside down stairs there. So my apologies. And then on the sides here, we can go and then place down these two shortcut boxes and let them place down item frames in them. We're also going to take zombie heads and on these blocks here, one, two, three, we're going to place down zombie heads along the side there, like so. And then uh, over here to the left side, we're going to place down a zombie head here, then one right there, and then one on that block right there at the corner. The space across the middle here, we're going to place a dark wood slab, spruce wood slab, dark wood slab and a spruce wood slab and then we just want to go and take zombie heads and fill in this row completely across here like so and once we have that done we're also going to go and grab a dark oak fence post we're going to place it down on top of this dark oak stair here and then place down a zombie head on top of it with the face of it facing forward once that's done uh, the last thing for us to do is to go ahead and add this heavy machine gun mounted to the top of the tank here so for the heavy machine gun real simple if you've built some of my uh, heavy machine guns before, you're probably familiar with this design, uh, but for this real simple we're going to place down an anvil on top of this stair, dark oak fence gate come off the anvil toward the back and open it up toward it, a narrow brick upside down stair coming off of it, narrow brick top slab, to both sides of the top slab we're going to place down a dark oak sign, then we're going to go ahead and go to the left side here of the stair, we're going to place down a shortcut box on the side with a powered rail on top of it with the rail kind of facing toward the narrow brick stair like that. Over here to the right side of the narrow brick stair, we'll place down a dark wood sign, item frame, and in that item frame, we want to go and place down a back black bed, which can be rotated with the pillow facing toward the front. Coming off the narrow brick slab, we're going to place down a end rod, and then a wither skeleton spool there on the tip. On the top, we're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of the narrow brick upside down stair with the notches flicked forward, a wither skeleton skull on top of the anvil, and then a dark group button on top of that narrow top slab. And once you have that all complete there, that's going to wrap up what we have for the machine gun and with that layers uh, 5 through 9 and the tank itself. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to be using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be linked from the sign of the bill, tweet to my channel, or this video, if this does a pretty social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have full fit, and all that fun stuff. And uh, again, a big special thanks to Patreon support Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And again, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the video descriptions. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time.